Hi everybody, this is an addendum to the video that I posted on the, uh, I can't remember what it was titled, what I titled it, something about children need protection. The information, the scientific studies on the adverse effects of Wi-Fi, uh, I failed to give you information that's really important. But right after that, I reposted a video and it is a very good video that shows parents what they can do they can present a notice of personal liability to school board members and I would extend that to teachers and principals within your community the schools that your children attend Go into the schools, give the principal, the teachers, the scientific studies that clearly prove the adverse effects of Wi-Fi. And after a period of time, if no action is taken, then present the teachers and the principals with a notice of personal liability. They have a duty to protect children. And I will also, I'm going to link below to everything. I'm tr going to try to get through it quickly. But, yes, principal, teachers, they have a duty to protect the children that attend their schools. So it is not just the school board members. But here, you can click on the hyperlinks, do not consent letter, um, you know, the information is right here on the internet and it's readily available to all. So when I see comments about, you know, solutions, well, what am I supposed to do? All right. I've posted a lot of videos. There are an awful lot of videos on YouTube that provide examples of what you can do, that provide information on what you can do. Um, and yeah, you know, look, it is very, very difficult to get through to an awful lot of adults today because they're children. They don't want to, they don't want to assume the responsibility of an adult. That's the unfortunate reality of what we are living. We've become an incredibly sick society, not just physically, but mentally. You know, the well-adjusted to a deeply disturbed society are not well. But it doesn't mean that you can't summon up the courage yourself to go ahead and do it. Because you know what? Children deserve it. And it is the responsibility of all adults to, to, and parents. It is your responsibility to protect your children. So... Uh, this site right here gives more information about what was happening in that dis district of New York. New York PTA calls for Wi-Fi to be turned off. And you can see the full board member meeting with the parents. What I posted was only six minutes. So they have the full meeting right here on this uh, website. And the notice of Wi-Fi radiation legal liability is summed up here. Board members who voted in for keeping the Wi-Fi are now personally liable if a child is harmed by the wireless radiation exposures. They could be sued for willful blindness, child negligence, and Yes, possibly even charged with reckless endangerment of a child. You need to get a lawyer that is savvy and knows his or her stuff on this. Um, my God, mountains of scientific evidence. And we still can't get through. Remember, you know what? Everybody who owns a home, pays property taxes, 
even if you don't have children who are attending public schools, you, your taxes, you have to shell out money for those schools in your communities. You have an absolute right to demand that these people listen to you. But we have kind of developed this psyche here that we've got to obey the authority figures. And I do believe that parents look at the school board members as if they are the authority and children and parents back down. They act like a child. You've got to somehow change the psyche and develop the courage within yourself. You are on the same par as these people. They are no better or worse, but they work for you. So don't let them act as if, you know, they're the employer or they're the authority figure and you have to listen to them. We've got to reverse that. Um, I also want to, and I hope that everybody watches, I wanted to pass along this video, which is really a very good video, Wi-Fi in schools, testing for microwave radiation dangers in the classroom. And I'm just going to show you that he takes this um, electromagnetic testing device and here he is um, just outside of a community center and he is getting the measurements of the electromagnetic fields that are coming in and it registers 11 and then 12 and then he goes into a school an elementary school an elementary school and he's doing the same thing. By access throughout the school. Let me just see if I can get to it fast. Okay. He goes into, I think, a fifth grade classroom with the same device. And the electromagnetic frequencies register at about 6,500. and children are going into these classrooms. I hope you watch it and I hope you circulate it. Circulate it. Um, this site also is very good for an awful lot of information regarding Wi-Fi in schools. A lot of experts speaking about the adverse effects of the Wi-Fi on children. And I'm, you know, I can't believe that we are living this. But here is more information, school action, sign to speak, Wi-Fi safe, safe schools, um, U.S. Secretary of Education letter. And this, which is the site that I um, had in the last video, but I failed to go into the Wi-Fi in schools page on this site, and it has a tremendous amount of information about what schools are doing, what countries are doing, getting rid of Wi-Fi, Haifa Israel, disconnecting Wi-Fi in schools for health reasons. New York PTA, Israeli TV warns of dangers of Wi-Fi in schools. Wi-Fi in schools, Dr. George Carlo, um, there's an awful lot. Italian schools shut down Wi-Fi over health fears of electromagnetic waves. Nobel Prize winner Deborah Davis on Wi-Fi in schools and limiting its risks. Look, I don't have children, 
And I just can't believe what adults are doing to children today. I, it's, it's so heartbreaking. So, yes, France enacts the precautionary principle. So many European countries have enacted the precautionary principle. We don't have any protection here in the United States. None. None. You know, and while we do understand why, the deep population and all that, yes, okay, I got it. Well, do we just sit back and let them kill all of us off, including children? Do we let parents and teachers and principals and school board members subject children to dangerous environments? Do we just sit back? No. New York University professor, put away your laptops or go enroll in the University of Phoenix. That's a, a real dig to the University of Phoenix, I guess. Um, Israeli Deputy Minister of Health, rethink Wi-Fi in schools. Ontario Catholic Teachers Union, call for Wi-Fi ban in schools. There's, yeah, it, it's stunning that there, it, there is so much information out there. So much information. I drive by schools here. I see these cell towers. I know that Wi-Fi is in these classrooms. I know that children are going Monday through Friday. I know the effects that this Wi-Fi, this wireless world that we're living in, I know the effects that it has had on me. And then I think about these children. And it is, I'm sorry, it is nothing short of a moral disgrace. So, um, the last thing, this site, Safe Tech for Schools, Maryland, it's an epidemic. Experts warn that modern life gadgets are giving kids cancer. Cancer in children has increased exponentially. Why? Why aren't parents asking why? Why aren't adults asking why? I'm not talking about the evil, satanic, just, ugh, I don't, I don't have words to describe them, who purposely do this, but I'm talking about all of the adults indirectly or directly involved uh, with children. How could they just not care? So, I wanted to point this out here, a mainstream media article writing about modern life killing our kids. But this fact sheet here, wireless radiation exposure in schools, gives a tremendous amount of information that parents and teachers, you can print out and bring it to other parents in your communities, educate them, bring it to the school principals, your kids' teachers, along with all of the scientific studies. You can't present a notice of personal liability to somebody who doesn't have any knowledge about this, so that is the first step. Educate them. Give them the scientific studies. If they do nothing, these are not people who are protecting your children. All links are below.